When you're provisioning virtual desktops, Windows can kind of be difficult, to say the least. It's not very well optimized. It actually has a ton of running services that are completely unnecessary, a ton of installed applications, scheduled tasks, just a bunch of random stuff that isn't really necessary even on desktop systems, but it's especially unnecessary on VDI systems. Like, do we need a Bluetooth service or do we need multiple Bluetooth services or multiple Xbox related services, Xbox apps, Zune apps, various things like that, Bing? Like, do we need all that for virtual desktop infrastructure? Probably not. So using just vanilla Windows in VDI is not ideal. What we want to do is optimize our Windows images and get rid of all the extra stuff so they use less resources. And in doing that, we can, of course, fit more virtual desktops on each hypervisor host that we're using. So I want to look at two different tools to optimize our systems. First one's called Citrix Optimizer, and the other is the VMware OS Optimization Tool. And they kind of, they do a lot of the same stuff, but each of them also does a few unique things. So sometimes I like to just run both. So let's take a look at how they work. First off, you can get both of these online. They don't cost any money. Citrix Optimizer, you do have to have a Citrix login for, and then you just click this login and you can download the, I think it's a zip file and with the executable in there. Uh, the VMware tool, the OSOT or OS Optimization tool, you can just uh, click this, uh, click the little checkbox and download it. So you don't have to log in or anything. And I always appreciate when vendors don't make you log in to download software that's free or to like read an article. So thank you, VMware. But these are the two tools that we're gonna be using. You can get them if you would like. And now let's look at what we're going to run them on. So we've currently got this VM. This is a brand new installation of Windows 10 1903. And it, if we kind of expand out the start menu, I mean, you might have to squint a bit, but there's a lot of stuff in here that we don't want on virtual desktops. Do we need voice recorder, Xbox, your phone, office, like this little office launcher? I mean, OneNote, OneDrive, mobile plans, do we need that? No. So we can get rid of that pretty easily. So what I've done is I've already moved Citrix Optimizer and the VMware OS optimization tool here uh, to a folder called Optimize in uh, just on C. So we will run the VMware OS optimization tool first and get an idea of what all we can get rid of. So when it boots up, uh, it will run a, a series of tests. It will analyze your system and give you a report of what your current optimization status is. And then right here, it'll give you a little graph that is usually a lot of orange to start out. Yeah, so we could see the total number of possible optimizations is 400 and, well, actually like 470 or 76. So that's the total number of optimizations of which 415 are not applied on this system. So it's analyzed the system. Now we can apply those optimizations. So right down there in the bottom left-hand corner, you can click optimize and it will just really quickly go through and apply these various optimizations. It applies group policy settings. It applies registry settings. It removes unnecessary services and applications. It removes unnecessary, uh, what's, what are some other unnecessary things it removed? Just a ton of unnecessary things. You get the point. It's getting rid of all the unnecessary stuff that Windows comes bundled with. So it's now going to kind of continue on and run and you know what, while that's running, just in the interest of time, let's just run the Citrix Optimizer side by side with it. So Citrix Optimizer, I think it definitely wins on style points. It doesn't optimize as many things, I suppose, but it does look better. I think the user interface is really nice. Although I do appreciate VMware's nice graphs and everything. So this is uh, just about done on the VMware side and Citrix Optimizer, this is uh, Citrix Optimizer. So with Citrix Optimizer, we can actually select which type of OS we want to optimize for. And we're going to select 1809 because that's the closest to the current one that we have. And then it will load up a list of various optimizations that it thinks would work well on our system. So once uh, VMware is done, actually, let's run Analyze on Cit Citrix Optimizer and see what it catches that the VMware OS optimization tool did not. Are we almost done? Uh, all right, I'm just gonna run it now. Well, yeah, let's just run it now. So this is just about done. It's removing 
these built-in apps that are just a nuisance. And let's see, what did we get here? So it looks like uh, the VMware tool did turn off most of the services, although the uh, OS, op the um, Citrix optimizer does have a few additional services that it would turn off. I'm just kind of scrolling down through the list. It looks like we've removed all the unnecessary, a lot of unnecessary applications, but there's still some other ones here. So, okay. And so it looks like that VMware OS optimization tool pretty much hits all the marks with the exception of a few settings like these. So let's go ahead and configure these settings. We'll actually just do done and click optimize. And then it'll just optimize uh, the remaining settings. So let's close out of this and let's see what the start menu looks like once this is done. So we're just about done here. Everything looks optimized from the Citrix point of view. And look at our start menu. Look how different it is. It's completely empty now. So it's, it, that's really nice. Uh, we've removed a lot of unnecessary things. If you look at your services that are running or enabled, there's a lot less now between these two optimizers. And the one thing that's kind of an issue is we get these like blank tiles so you can remove them. You may want to like make a default user profile and save a start menu, a layout to keep this nicely organized. Uh, but I mean, other than that one thing, it's, it's really, it's, it's nice. They're very great tools. They cut out a ton of the unnecessary uh, processes and, and all the other stuff that we don't need and make a Windows 10 system ready to go in a VDI environment with very little effort. So hopefully they become, they are helpful for you and you get some use out of them. Thanks.